This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. In this tutorial video, we'll take a look at how to create hyperlink text within Google Docs. You may want to create clickable or hyperlinked text to one of two types of uh, website links. This could include outside websites as well as hyperlinks to Google Suite files, so maybe other Google Docs files or Google Slides. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at how you would create a link to an outside website. First, you need to obtain the link and copy it to your clipboard. So you'll want to keep your file open and then open up another tab and navigate to the site that you want to um, link to. So I'm going to grab this link right here to a support page. Remember to highlight the complete link and then control C to copy or right click and choose copy to have it ready on your clipboard. Now I'm going to click into the tab that has my Google Doc and from here I can highlight the text that I would like to make clickable. Once I've highlighted the text I can either right click to see my choices and from here I'll see link as an option or alternatively I can highlight and choose the link icon right up here on my toolbar. So when I insert the link, I'll have this menu where I have a place where it will indicate the text that I've highlighted. And then below, this is the place where I paste in my link. Don't be confused by the suggestions that Google will provide you. It basically is trying to look at whatever word or words you've highlighted and give you possible search results of links that you may be trying to access. So just ignore those, click into the link area, and either choose Control V to paste or right click and choose paste. Now that your link is in here, select apply, and you'll notice that it turns the text blue to indicate that it's clickable. Any user coming into your file now, if they click this, they will see the link revealed to the site and can click this link to launch into another tab. You'll notice that when they do this, it does not close out the document. It opens a new tab for that link. So the next thing you may want to be able to do is perhaps you want to link to an existing Google document or a Google Slides presentation. I use this feature all the time when I'm giving assignments to students so that I can put all of the resources associated with a project that might include rubrics, that might include a checklist, maybe an exemplar, maybe some sites that they want to um, look at to get resources. So all of those things, instead of giving them to students individually, I can create hyperlinks within one larger, uh, one single essentially table of contents type of file for students. Um, so for here, maybe I want to hyperlink uh, this right here because I have a document that has instructions for that. So first I need to go into Google Drive and find the file that I want to link to. So I'm going to open that file up and I need to first be sure to change the share settings because you may be tempted to just grab the link up here, which would not be a bad idea. However, this may not work for users clicking on that link if the sharing permissions are not set correctly. So I'm going to press the blue share button and I like to click into advanced so I can see all of my sharing options. And instead of it being available only to specific people or set to private, I want to make sure I change this and make it so that anyone who has the link can view my file. This includes people who do not have Google Drive um, accounts and so this way my link will work for anyone that I give this resource to and they don't need to sign in but they also can only view the file so that keeps my file safe from any editing from unknown people. So now that I've changed the permissions I can choose save and this link right here is what's available to me. It's actually the same link that's up here. So I can copy this when it's highlighted and then I can click into my document here highlighting the word or words that I would like to make clickable in this document. Remember I can right click choose link or I can use the link icon from my toolbar. I'm going to paste in the link here and choose apply. An important thing for you to keep in mind if you're linking to other Google files 
is that even if you rename or update or change the location of the file, those links will remain the same. Links to documents and to any Google file stored in uh, Drive will not change even if you make changes to it. Um, the only thing to keep in mind is if you change the sharing permission so that it's no longer available to anyone with the link, if you change that permission then someone trying to click and access it will be unable to if the permissions are changed or not set correctly in the first place. Thanks for watching. For this and other tutorial videos, as well as tips to help you use technology in your classroom, check us out online at teachingforward.net.